you don't feel like you have enough support. Maybe no one really does support. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to actually thrive without their support and some of the techniques that I personally use when I don't have support. What I mean by support is support in chasing your goals. Maybe you are living with your parents and they're supporting you and maybe you have friends that are you're living with that like or you could live with that support and you have certain people that support you in different areas but some people most people do not support your dreams maybe nobody at all supports your dreams and honestly that is such a sucky position to be in but a position that if you have big dreams or even if you are in a negative environment you're bound to be in everybody including myself we all face that problem of not having enough support like mr beast once said in one of his podcasts you're crazy until you make it, then you are a genius. So listen, right? I'm gonna teach you some of the methods that I use when I don't have support. These are the three most powerful tools you're gonna be able to use when you don't have support. So what I want you to do is actually take these and apply it into your real life because I'm making this video so I can help you and you would help me a lot if I can actually see that, you'll make me proud. I want you to build a growth mindset. What is a growth mindset? I'm sure you're familiar with the term. I'm sure if you've seen some of my videos, you actually know what it means. But a quick run through is basically it's a mindset that is the opposite of fix. So instead of saying I can't, you say I will try again. Instead of believing that you can't do certain things because of certain limitations, you believe that you can do anything if you put your body to it. That is what you need to do. You need to cultivate a growth mindset. Now, how do you do that? Now, the way I did this, the quickest hack to it is celebrating small victories. When you celebrate small victories, you tell yourself that it's supposed to happen. And I mean small victories. I celebrate when I get a good comment. I celebrate when I get one new subscriber. I celebrate when I think I'm helping you I celebrate that stuff. And it tells my brain that this is supposed to be happening. Even though I'm not the best YouTuber, even though I'm not the best runner, or I'm not the best at really anything I do, it really does help with my growth mindset. It really does tell me like, okay, you can do it, keep doing it. So I really want you to start celebrating your smallest victories and I guarantee you, even if it doesn't give you a full growth mindset, it will make your life a lot better. Prove through action. Everyone's gonna hate this. You need to prove it through action. When I was running my first race, it was only seven miles. And because I have asthma, I was told from family members and friends that you're not good enough, you can't do it. And then little did they know, I'd be walking home with this medal. Oops, little did they know I'd be coming home from San Francisco with that medal. It was a great feeling. I prove it through my action and that is what I've learned. So maybe for you, it's running right maybe you want to start running some miles and you can't even run a mile and someone's saying oh my god you can't even run 500 feet like you're so lazy you're so stupid and you don't even try prove it wrong through action you run 500 feet okay they're still saying that okay three months from now when you come home with your first medal what are they going to be saying you know what i'm saying you're proving it to your mind through action no excuses i don't care how small the action is make your bed type these action. next two are very fundamental seek like-minded communities and then once you are in that community build a close-knit inner circle listen i'm thinking about starting some sort of discord server for people like me and people like you who actually watch these videos if you want that just let me know once you find your community identify the two people that you get along with closest and classify them as inner circle I only have two people in my inner circle that literally know everything. They know my feelings. They know how I feel about each other. They know what I'm doing. They know about this. They know about that. They're the only ones who actually know. Everybody else is mostly observer. Mostly they have like little thoughts. Oh, he's doing that. He's doing that. Nobody else really knows. And if they don't have anything to go off on you, they don't have any information. They can't really say as much other than what is surface level, what they see you do. Another thing too is your inner circle needs to be more than just people that are like, oh, go after and do it. They need to be someone that actually, they need to be some people or like I said, someone that actually holds you accountable. will tell you straight to your face if you're messing up. Listen, if I have a bad run, my running buddy, my inner circle partner will tell me it was a bad run. Dude, you suck. You, you are running like a bitch. He literally says that. The point is you need your inner circle to be people that will hold you accountable to your goals and be brutally honest with you. Do not have people in your inner circle who are weak-minded and won't be truthful and honest to you to the fullest of honesty. So you can build this supportive group and this small group and they 
push you forward. And these are the things that you're gonna need to actually like feel like you have a lot of support in life to actually go after your goals, even though nobody else, you can be going against 150 people and these two people will make you feel like you can take every single one of them. So if you like the idea of like doing hard work and putting it out there and the self-improvement stuff, make sure you go check out my no fat video. I would not miss that video if I'm like you because I know what it's like again to struggle with no fat. And now that I've been off masturbation for a while, my life has just gone straight up. And remember, never quit.